Hello, babes. As you can see, I have a setup finally. One time only, because this is a special video. And I also have a TV. I spent $350 on a PR box. I paid for this out of my own pocket. So, expensive. We're gonna unbox this, and I'll see you guys in a second. This is a Melt X Beetlejuice Melt Cosmetics. Um, also, I do not own any of these photos. Please do not sue me. These are just the promotion photos, and I thought it'd be really cool to show everything in case you can't really see it well. But this box alone retails at $350, $370 after shipping and handling. And so I also wrote down all the individual prices for the products. This is a limited edition, so it only came out for one day. Everything is sold out now, except the two palettes inside the box. So we're gonna open her up right now. Also, you can see, I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but this is one of those cards that like kind of move when you change them. But the interior is absolutely stunning. This is my favorite part of the whole box. If you can see from here, it has little stripes that are matte and then shiny. We have our lipsticks. These all retail for $19. So do these other lipsticks. The gel liners, I believe, are also $19. The recently deceased palette runs for... Bum -ba -da -da. 48 and then this waiting room is 50. I don't know why it's higher, but don't ask me. The mascara retails for 24 and then if you got it with the little eyelash curler, it retailed for 35. And then it also comes with this cute little cubby that includes a mirror and a brush set. The brush set alone cost $80, which is a lot, but it came with the brushes in the bag. And then the mirror, I believe, is just $21. First, I'm going to open the recently deceased. It comes in this cute box, which also says Beetlejuice, 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 it's not meant to be, <laughs> but it comes in like a really cute neon packaging, which I just and it also comes with a film, like one of those protectors, but it's a scene from the movie, which I think is really cool. This one comes with eight shades. They have the pressed Beetlejuice. The first color is a lime green, which says Beetlejuice. This cute little, like a Christmas glitter, which says paranormal. Then we have a mustard yellow, which says joy door. We have a sparkly golden yellow, which says neurotic. We have a good burgundy, which is recently deceased. A cute purple, lost souls. Another same kind of burgundy, but just a little bit brighter, which is little accident. And then another lighter purple that says Bio Exorcist. So we will tap into this in a moment. Now we have the waiting room. Which comes in like a really nice box. This one says, is this what happens when you die? By Barbara. I'm just gonna toss these boxes in on and so this one has Beetlejuice's actual face, and then this is just the sandworm, and it comes in a red. It also has the lady that was cut in half film going on as well. So these are a more darker red tone. So we have obituary, no exit, then some sparkly ones going on, sawed girl, dates, or Dante's? I don't know. <laughs> Dante's Inferno. We have Lydia. We have Charman, Tombstone, Shrunken Head, Juno, and Sandworm. Which, through their swashes, 
Um, the white seems really pigmented. I haven't ever had a white that's really pigmented, so we'll have to try that out. Again, it comes with a red eyelash curler, which is really cute. Also, they're really stuck to the box. Got it out. <laughs> we have this cute little red mascara, which is like a metal casing and Beetlejuice imprinted. Next, we have these cute little gel liners, which when I was looking them up, one's a pigment paint and then two are gel liners. This one's called 125 Years. This one is a gel liner. It's more of a gray. Ooh, it looks like. Oh. Okay. That's really cool. moist. Then we have another one called The Afterlife, which is like another neon mustard yellow green combination going on. And then we have this purple one, which is Utterly Alone, and this is the pigment paint. Um, well, compared to the other ones, this one's more shiny. And there's a there's a difference between them, so I understand that. Now we have our trio of lipsticks, and they're very complicated. They come in a cute little, like, window-ish. I can't, I don't know the word. Hey, we're gonna... Transparent. They come in a little cute transparent like neon bottles. This one is Calypso. I don't understand that reference and I know the movie very well, so I'm gonna have to watch it again to actually realize the reference. And they have cute little sandworm imprintings. So this is like mahogany, purple, burgundy. This one I saw in the pictures and I really wanted to try it. It's like, ooh, excuse me. Uh, forest green still has the same imprintings and this one is called Ghost with the Mouse and then this one is called Miss Argentina so it's like a very vibrant red which I can't wait to try and then we have our lipsticks this is where I need assistance assistance ayúdame por favor so the one I've been wanting to try is called Weirder and Weirder which are just actual liquid lipsticks and they turn matte so they're not shiny then we have strange and unusual which is a really bright pink i don't know if this one will be my favorite i might get this one actually but it's just a sparkly pink as well and then we have this really cute purple one which is bright and called it's showtime we still have under here which comes with a cute mirror of lydia dancing and says mountain beetlejuice on the front then we have this cute brush bag makeup holder whatever you want to do and it has the sandworm all on the side the little zip thingy says melt on it. We love a plug. I don't know if you can see that from here. And then it has the stripes on the inside and when you open it, it's just the same thing. Stripes on the inside and you just pull over. Then we have the marvelous brushes. But what I like most about it is like the attention to detail and like everything. I'm gonna have to do another like now. Like and subscribe. Subscribe. I can subscribe. I said it three times. And, it. and then the cute thing about these brushes is they have one side is white, one side is black. So they seem pretty soft. Ooh, this one's new. It's kind of short though. I can feel the bottom of the Again, this is all the stuff that came in the box. So now we're actually gonna test them out, which I've been waiting to do for so long. So let's let me take this full face of makeup off and get into it. We got a different angle going on now so you can see better and closer. And now it's time to start messing with the makeup. I don't know what I want to use. I do want to swash, 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 swash. We're using swash now. We're gonna swash this white. I mean, it's pretty good compared to all my whites. <gasps> Juno is so pretty. 
it's kind of sheer, but we're gonna be Bob the Builder. We're gonna do the recently deceased. So I have my makeup brushes right here that I might end up using, but I do wanna test these ones out. I will admit though, all the other brushes seem really soft, except this one with the line in the middle. It just seems very synthetic. I really don't like this brush right here. It just seems so hard. I don't understand what you'd use it for. Let's just get into it. So first, I'm going to prime my eyes with some Maybelline um, concealer. It's color sand. Okay. We're done with that. Okay, I'm gonna result to one of my brushes momentarily. I'm going to go in with the dark purple. Goodbye, Beetlejuice. I'm sorry I have to pat your face. Ooh, this hurts me more than it hurts you, babe. I'm just gonna put it in my crease. I'm gonna try this one to blend out. It takes time to get this beautiful. I'm actually going to go in with my favorite brush in the whole wide world, the good cheap eyeshadow applicator. I'm just going to rub her in a little bit. So pretty. I'm just doing a basic look for now. I'm gonna do my other eye off camera, so not to waste your time. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I did the other side of my eye and I'm not gonna do lashes today because I really wanna see how the mascara pops out. And we have a lash curler, so hopefully it looks like I am wearing lashes. I love this bottle. This is like my, one of my favorite things. The, oh, you know what we should try first? is this purple freaking pigment paint. So I don't know if I can put this in my waterline. And let's see. Oh. Oh, that's, oh wow. I'm going to try to put this in my waterline and hope I don't die. Oh wow, that's pigment as <laughs> Oh, that looks so sick. go out so fast with me oh my gosh this is the first time I've ever had anything no cosmetics so it's kind of crazy now <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the mascara let's try this baby out Ooh. and let's get this baby dirty and curl these mofos. Honestly, I never use curling irons, but now I will. I've been calling this a curling iron. Eyelash curler. <laughs> Eyelash curler. on my hand and see which one I actually want to try. Those are gorgeous. So... For this look, we'll just go for it. We'll try the purple one. Ooh, the staining is real.
this lipstick is so literally drop dead for. It's showtime. Really, I feel like I'm going to Coachella. This is crazy. Like when I talk, it's like a light show on my lips. I will admit, it's a little sticky, but I mean, when you look this good, you you can't complain. It feels a little tight, but oh, I can't wait to wipe it off and see how it stains. Guys, I'm so sure. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This meant so much to me. If you can't tell, I really love Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is everything to me. Hopefully when I get my car together, you guys can get a car tour. My little baby right here, my obsession. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe. You can follow me on my social medias down here if I have any. And then keep supporting the channel. We're gonna grow guys, we're gonna grow. Thank you guys, I love you guys. Goodbye babes. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice!